Yeah, good morning, guys. Mine happened to our friends in the Philippines. Just wanted to come on here, guys, and uh, question the uh, business brain of the uh, brain surgeon at the Bohovel, Boss Hog, the supposedly commercial uh, fish breeder. He's got four ponds there, breeder tanks, and uh, that's an awful lot of fish. An awful lot of fish. And... Uh, after watching his videos, a few questions arise and one of them is, how is he going to manage to feed all these fish? Because he is breeding a lot of fish. Where is that budget coming from? Has he got a plan in place? Uh, you have to ask that question. I mean, if you're a truly commercial uh, fish farmer, then you should be growing for the uh, well, growing the fish to the market price, uh, size, should I say, of 500 grams each. And then getting a decent price, let's say 100 to 120 pesos per kilo. But as we're seeing there uh, on his last harvest, um, he ends up and the fish are only being 100 grams in weight each. And that's why you get such a rubbish price per kilo because they're underweight. Is he feeding these fish correctly or is he breeding too many fish? Anyone who knows the Philippines knows that the market size for a tilapia is 500 grams each fish. And if you're growing for restaurants, you normally grow the tilapia to uh, a kilo each or a kilogram each. And by doing so, you get a higher price per kilo wholesale as the produce is intended for restaurants who charge an higher price. It's simple economics, really. Uh, something that uh, Boss Hog, unfortunately, doesn't understand. The last harvest, he had fish were nine fish per kilo. So each fish was around 110 grams each. Way too tiny to be selling at the market. And hence, why they got such a low price. It normally takes six to nine months to grow tilapia to 500 grams, depending on how you feed them. If he was smart, if he was a smart man, like he claims, and the four ponds he has should be producing an harvest ready fish every six to nine months. A one million peso turnover on that business will be easily achieved if done right. And if he was very smart and experienced, then he could be selling fish every six months. With four ponds, his gross income could be in excess of 2 million pesos per year with little to no effort at all. Four ponds with 10,000 grower fish in each, a total of 40,000 fish, each pond holding 10,000 fish at a grow rate of 9 months to 500 grams each, that's 5,000 kilo. Selling at wholesale price of 100 pesos per kilo, that's a gross of 500,000 pesos for each pond every nine months. So with four ponds, you should be achieving 2 million pesos gross on the fish business, minus feed, labor costs, and electricity and overheads. So in reality, he could be making uh, a nice profit of uh, over 1 million pesos per year enough to live on very comfortable on his farm at the Bohovel without a lot of effort a 1 million profit per year would be around 80,000 uh, pesos per month more than his YouTube salary and take into account also he would be able to pay for his own projects. 
pay for worker salary himself, pay for hospital bills himself, which his subscribers are donating for at the moment. And also take into account the family members on that farm could easily run that business without any need for hiring workers full time. He would only need to hire some labour on days when harvest is needed. Now, a proper fish breeder, a professional fish, uh, fish breeder, would know all this. They'd have a business plan in place. But, as with anything boss or does, it's all arse about tit. I hope this information helps you work out, guys, that uh, Boss Hog is a definitely a no brain surgeon and he definitely is no fish breeder. Till the next time, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Put your money safely in your pocket. Do not be giving it to these e beggars and scammers. Bye for now.